We're so glad you're with us today. After all the extra sweets and goodies during the holidays, many of us need some good, healthy eating. How can we be good role models for our children? Jackie Denegri with the Fayette County Extension Office is here with some advice. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having so me. So we do need to be good role models. What do we need to do? Well, we need to do, there's so many things we want to do, but now that the holidays are over, we're going to start the new year off with our resolutions, New Year's resolution, resolutions. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things, being a healthy role model doesn't mean just eating more fruits and vegetables. Um, sure, we have to show our kids by example, so yes, maybe that incorporates more healthy foods. Um, other things could be uh, limiting our screen time, having the children cook in the kitchen with us, teaching them where the food actually comes from, and limiting uh, eating dinner together, eating some, some fat meal together, mm -hmm. um, no cell phones, no TVs, no phone, nothing, just enjoying each other's company, being more physically active um, as a family, um, and well, there's just little things, everything, limiting our sodas. <laughs> uh, limiting sodas too. Do you find that a lot of times if people start doing that when you're talking about no cell phones at the table and no TV and all that, that they really enjoy it, that it kind of brings them back to uh, the way it should have should have been all the way? Yes, and it's, it's interesting because I've started to do that with like my daughter, mm -hmm. um, limiting no cell phones, and we actually have conversations and so I can actually know what's going on in her school not just by emails from the teachers or she can tell me what's going on and it, it kind of brings back the the good old days when you do bring kids into the kitchen what are some of the big lessons that you can teach them if they're in the kitchen with you when you're making everything uh, some of the big lessons would be like food safety mm -hmm. um, you can teach them with knives and and how to help prepare and just how to have them prepare more snacks to be more independent. So if they come home from school and they're hungry and you're busy doing something, then you can tell them, okay, go make yourself your snack and they can actually know what to prepare rather than grab a bag of cookies or a bag of chips. They Which can... is too easy to do sometimes. Yes. Okay, as people are getting ready for the new year, what should we keep in mind as we make that resolution then? Uh, what we should keep in mind is um, sticking, setting small goals. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to say, okay, this is the year I'm going to change everything. Just setting small goals, whether it's um, limiting sweets or not using the sweets as a reward. So make that as your New Year's resolution that instead of offering them cookies, cakes, whatever, um, you're going to spend time, offer a hug, you know, conversation, one-on-one -on -one time. Sounds really good. Make it achievable then. Yes. All right. Thank you very much well, for coming in. Well, thank you. In. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks.